what's up guys like i said i'd make that video of how to get custom firmware now that you're on 6.20 custom I mean, firmware so yeah first i'll show you my firmware to show you that i'm 6.20 and you can watch a different video just and it'll show that i was 6.36 and then all of a sudden 38 blah 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 you know that's so that's 6.20 so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take all three links. You're gonna this is the permanent patch, fast recovery, and the normal thing. So first off you'll run this. You'll run the downgrader. Just do what it tells you. For for the for the six point three X to six point three five, that one use the tutorial that I gave you. That should it should be in the description down down and yeah so use that tutorial to do that one and then the 6.31 6.35 downgrader to get to 6.20 just use just it just follow the instructions it tells you like whenever you download download it just follow what it tells you to do whenever you run it so yeah and then after your 6.20 it will take maybe a few minutes you go to the first one the one that says update and it has the Genesis competition in the back. In the back. Then you run it. You run it. So now it'll it'll just do this. Click X and now it'll reboot with custom firmware. Now, if you press select, it should bring up this little menu. I go system settings, and look. Now, if you're wondering what that is, because you won't have that, it says fake 6.39. That is what you do to be able to go to be able to do whatever you want. So right now, my PSP thinks it's running the newest firmware, 6.39. So yeah. I will show you to I'll show you how to do that in like a few minutes. So next we're gonna put the permanent patch on. So whenever you completely turn off your PSP, you know it stays on. So now you run the permanent bootloader one. This one is gonna actually like completely install it, but you can easily uninstall it like I did, because if you didn't know, I uninstalled it. So click X. Click circle. Now it shall restart. Now you have this, you should still have this. And in this menu thing, there's a recovery menu. And you can do all that cool good stuff. You won't really need it until I show you some more stuff to do with it, so don't really mess with it. Unless you want to do something like hide MAC, MAC address, but that's oh that stays enabled from the start. So yeah, but if it's not, then just go do that. Do it. Um, everything else is fine. Just keep it like that. And also, if you turn it off like completely and turn it back on, if you hold the R, it'll turn into the recovery mode, which is cool. Now, now, if you have bought games, something like this. If you bought this game. You're gonna have to re-download it. And that's just what you. Oh, then again, you really don't. But right now, if you just did this, it won't work. I'm sorry, but yeah, we're gonna fix it. It won't work. Whenever you first do everything, it's not gonna work. But that's okay because we'll fix it. And now, this is a PS1 game. You shouldn't be able to run it with the custom firmware. We can. So I got a black blue mark. So yeah, that's what, and that's just one of them. You can also run ISOs, which I haven't tried yet. Once I do, I will tell you. So yeah, it's fine. let's just stop it now. So now we'll go over to the next part, and where I show you how to, how to uh, make it so your PC thinks you're running the newest firmware when you're actually not. <laughs> 
So, yeah, let's go over there. Alright guys, now what you want to do is uh, plug in your PSP and go to USB mode, of course. Now, first off, make a folder named that. Like that. Like this. I'm just going to delete this one. Because I already have it. So, now whenever you get that, what you're going to do is open a notepad and in the description there will be this will be in this will be in the description copy it and put it into a notepad and save it as version dot txt or whatever you don't really have to but yeah just put dot txt whenever you do that then you uh turn off your uh like if you use a perma permanent um, what should we call it from custom firmware turn it off I'll go open up the boot boot thing again the same thing you did to make it permanent turn it that on and then uh click it was ask if you want to uninstall it after you un after you've done that completely turn off your PSP and it'll be off after that then you just put it back back on so it's like reloaded and and then it'll when well, then you should check your firmware and it should say, it should say, model, whatever your model is, fake 6.39. If it doesn't, I'm not, you did something wrong. And your, your firmware should be 6.20 Pro B5. Now, um, stay tuned because I'll be making some other videos about, you know, uh, stuff that you can do with custom firmware now because you can do anything 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 such as just for an example we can get this newest Nintendo 64 emulator because it's not signed but it's faster and all that stuff so yeah so just make sure you do all that and you now have custom firmware and you can go on PSN and play all the sign games you want and all that good stuff so see you guys later uh yeah peace